Hi guys, it's Jen from Phoenix and Lotus, and it's been a while since we've done a video, so I thought it would be a nice day to do one because guess what? I got a package that I believe is the Spirit de la Lune Oracle deck. So we're gonna open that and see what's inside. I am excited about this deck because if you've seen any pictures online, you'll see that it is absolutely beautiful. And oh, the package is awesome. Oh my God. So inside is beautiful. There is this tin that you put the cards in. And the actual cards are in shrink wrap. And we'll get to those in a minute. And there is a really giant pouch for everything. And it comes with the guidebook for lunar guidance, which doesn't actually have the star on it. It just wanted to stick because stars. So, that's what is in here. And I love that they have all kinds of little cosmic, like sputnik -y glitter things in here. So that's really cool. So now I'm gonna use my, I don't have the fancy purple one today. We're in a different part of the house. So I have a different cutting utensil apparently. <laughs> That's my ammo. Different room, different cutting utensil. Great. So, all right. Oh, these are so cool. So I love, love, love the back. That it's just very, very much the moon and sacred geometry. And so this first card is actually about how to connect with them. So, for more information, ideas, ceremonies, and rituals, please visit spiritdelulune.com. For more lunar guidance, accredited courses, and more moon magic, visit moondaughter.com. And for lunar-inspired art and more magical illustration, visit treetalkerart.com. So, a little promo for the artists there. And then we have the four turnings. The new moon, rebirth, inspiration, new beginnings, first quarter, energy flow, action, full moon, abundance, completion, and celebration, and the last quarter, reflection, ebb, and stillness. Then we have the elements, air, fire, water, earth. We have a moon blessing. And then we get into the actual cards. And each card has at the top a little, it's got, it's really hard to see, but there's a little Roman numeral at the top. And then it says which moon it is. And then at the bottom, it tells you what that particular moon is about. So this is the planting moon and it's about preparation. And then I'm gonna skip to later in the deck. And here we have, oh, it's not necessarily Roman numerals. Oh, so here we have Gemini, the twins. So there's some astrology in there. We have Libra, the peacemaker. We have, what else do we have? We have the flower moon, bloom. We have the last quarter. These are very cool. Although, <laughs> this is probably awful. Oh, here, see, here we have Roman numerals again. So here we have 13, and that is the blue moon, and that is renewal. Um, uh, okay, so we have Waxing Crescent. Oh, okay, we have different stages of Waxing Crescents. Here, I'm gonna do it like this. So you can see 
if I hold them in the correct direction. We have here's one waxing crescent, and then we have another waxing crescent. They're different sizes. One is bigger. This one has less going on. This one, it's more waxed, waxier. Um, again, even more wax, more waxing. So um, we've got play, expand, awareness, and expansion. So it's it's more detailed than some of the other moon decks that I own, which is nice. Uh, we also have what else do we have in here? So same thing with the waning that there's multiple phases of waning. So it looks like there are, oh, I love this bee. So for the honeymoon, we have the bee and productivity. I'm making a mess all over my dining room table right now. So it's pretty funny if you look down. We have the blessing moon, which is contentment. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to not leave these around my house because my husband will totally use them as coasters just based on the size. So that would be my one complaint. I'm like, ooh, coaster. But um, they're beautiful and I like the feel of these. Again, they, they could be a little thicker. They're not, I mean, they're not super flimsy, but I do feel like they could be a little thicker, possibly because I'm afraid people are gonna use them at coaster, as coasters. Oh, this is really cool. The Wolf Moon Sharpen Instincts. The drawings on these are lovely. So now I'm going to do what I should have done and look, look at the book to see what's actually in the book. So we have about the deck, how to use the deck, spreads, interpretations, about the creators. So... They call them Moondalas, which is lovely. And plays on my love for puns. Um, I'm wearing my Moonstone, by the way, just because Moon, okay, whatever. So each moon cycle has its own powerful energetic signature and many cultures have given them a name that embodies this energy. The peak of any moon cycle is the full moon. So we created 16 mandalas or Moondalas to embody each full moon and each and other powerful lunar phenomena, such as eclipses, supermoons, and blue moons. When a moon dollar card is pulled in a reading, it usually has a longer and more significant impact than a moon phase card. A moon dollar asks you to look at the bigger picture. What spiritual lesson are you learning right now? Each moon dollar also has its own unique spread you can read to further connect with its energy and messages. So then there's the 28 phase cards for the moon. Okay, so... They're divided into four elements, similar to the Minor Arcana in Tarot. So the moon, new moon to the waxing crescent is air. The first quarter to waxing gibbous is fire. The full moon to the waning gibbous is water. And the last quarter to the dark moon is earth. And then there are zodiac sign cards. Okay. All right, best way to cleanse spirit to the loon is under the moonlight, of course. That makes sense. They talk about different cleanses for different moon phases. I like that because I think a lot of people are all about the full moon, full moon, full moon. Full moon. I'm going to charge everything in the full moon. And that's great. But I think that sometimes other moon phases have better energies for the things that we're trying to accomplish. Like when I'm trying to connect with something new, I like to work with a new moon because that's all about beginnings and initiation and getting things started. So I rely on the new moon a lot. Um, so that's really cool. And then it's got some of the different spreads. So we have the planting moon spread, mind, body, spirit. It's lined up like a little garden, very nice. Solar eclipse spread, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, oh, they have some nice little uh, affirmations in here for the waxing crescent moon. Awareness, I honor my past, 
I accept what I see. The future is vast with possibility. Um, so I like that. For the first quarter moon, ignite. I activate the fire within. My dreams are alive. Let the magic begin. So ni just nice little rhymed couplets there, sort of. Um, very good. I like the book. It's, you know, it's simple. It's not huge, but it, it's a decent quality. It's nicely done. The inside is very easy to read. Um, I've gotten a couple other books lately where I've been a little frustrated because the print has been um, coming off the paper or the page trim was good or the margins were bad. So it was hard to get in and read what was actually in the center of the book. But this is really, this is nicely done. So very nice ladies. Excellent job. So I like this. Um, I'm a little concerned about shuffling, honestly, because I this is my first deck of round cards and I have no idea what that is about. So let's see how that goes because this could wind up all over the place. So oh, that's not bad at all. That's really not bad. Okay. Oop. Okay. So that's bad. Um, don't listen to me. Um, oh, also, apparently, I turned half of them the wrong way. So that was a lovely rookie error. But, um, yeah, physically, they go together just fine. So that's nice. Um, but, oh, I like this. Rebirth. The Blood Moon. And I do really like that they're all little mandalas moon dollars or whatever you want to call them that is the artwork that really appeals to me so again let me see if I can get everyone facing the right direction and try shuffling again because I am convinced that I can do this if only I pay attention all right, let's try this again. Oh. <laughs> okay, so half, there we go. All right, so I put half the cards facing one way and half the cards facing the other way. I don't know what I was doing. So don't do that when you shuffle them. Um, so here, everybody's facing the right way. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, so I think what happened is when I tried to do the this thing, I flipped over half of them and didn't realize and just kept going. So this is not a deck that I will shuffle like this, even though this is, yeah, it just doesn't want to work. So for this, I'm going to do a much lower, different shuffle than I would normally do. But... I do, they do feel good and I like them. They're a good size um, for my hands. So that is, these are very cool. And I am very thrilled to have this deck and to be able to start using it. So that is the Spirit de la Lune Oracle. All right, bye everyone.